and entertainers. For four decades, the people, programs and personalities have kept Australian viewers glued to their screens. Tonight, it's Heat 3 as we celebrate 40 years of television on the world's richest quiz, Sale of the Century. And now, here's Glenn Ridge. Thank you very much, Peter Smith. Hi, everyone. Hi, all. Hello and welcome to Sale. Nice to have you with us. This is our third night in our 40 years of television special as we're meeting some fabulous people who've been a part of the television industry. Tonight we have the game and quiz show people who are going to join us and a lot of fun in store I'm sure. But before we get to meet them, please welcome the stunning Nikki Buckley. Hello, how are you? Oh, good, thank you. Nice to Had see you. Looking stunning. Thank you very much. Yes, Peter Smith wants his own dressing room, <laughs> the old caravan, he wants limousines, he wants oh, everything at the moment. Look at him over there. Unbelievable. <laughs> of course, Peter last night um, came through and won his heat, so he's going to the two-night final, which starts on Friday night and finishes on Monday night. And of course, we've got the fabulous prize, the prize to uh, the trip to Hollywood and also the Audi A4. It's a great prize. Some lucky person will win. That's right. Okay, now who's with us tonight, Nick? Let's get okay, started. Okay, all right. Well, the ultimate game show entrepreneur this contestant has hosted numerous shows including money makers and casino 10 a gentleman caught in a love affair with radio and television for over 35 years and a testament that true talent can survive here's philip brady hello philip oh, hi Glenn. thank you today she may be heard more often than seen but for many years she was loved by australians for her good looks and bubbly personality as she co-hosted alongside greg evans the top rating television game show perfect match please welcome debbie newsom hi debbie now, our third contestant was certainly king of quiz shows in his prime, comparing, uh, comparing Jeopardy, uh, Sports Quiz and the popular It's Academic. Please give a warm welcome to Andrew Harwood. Hello, Andrew. Good, Good thank you. And the youngest ever to do a stand-up routine on the BBC and one of Australia's foremost stand-up comics, this 1960s IMT regular has hosted game shows such as Play Your Cards Right and appeared frequently on Blankety Blanks. Please put your hands together for the acclaimed Ugly Dave Gray. Hello, Ugly Dave. Nice to have you with us tonight also. Right. Now, Philip, of course, uh, nowadays, uh, doing very, very well at 3AW and Late Night Radio, but... Name the shows. Reel them up. What have you been a part of? Uh, Graham Kennedy's in Melbourne tonight. Casino 10. The Moneymakers. Get the message. Password. Junior Moneymakers. Radio's Nightline. Good morning, Australia. Thank you very much, Philip. Now, that's great. Remember so when. To hear from you, and it's good to hear everything's going well. Oh, thanks, sir. Uh, good to be here for the first time ever, Grant. <laughs> You'll do very well. I'll add sale to my credit. So oh, this. add that on the end yeah, of it all. Hey, good luck, Philip, though, thank seriously. You. Yes, have lots of fun, too. So, Debbie, Perfect Match was one of my favourite shows. What are you doing now? The singing, I believe? Yes, I am. I'm in a duo with a guy called Daniel Johns. He's very talented, mm -hmm. and um, we're putting an album together at the moment. But we're doing... Uh, we're very busy working. So and where can good. we see that? Oh, uh, this month we're at uh, Shell Harbour Workers and Blacktown RSL, Hornsby RSL, lots of places. Good luck tonight, Deb. Thank you. Hope it goes I'll need well. it. I will need it. No, you'll be right. Mr. Harwood, could I have number seven, please? <laughs> number 13, please, sir. <laughs> how, uh, how many years? Like, it's academic. That went for a long time. That was about ten years, yes. Unbelievable. Then you had Jeopardy. Jeopardy went for about six years. So I think it went for ten years. I did for about six years. Unbelievable stuff. So they, and you uh, must have enjoyed those days. They must have been fun times in television. They, they were good fun days, the, uh, the early days. And the kids were always so good, you know. And they were quick with the answers. I hope we can be quick tonight. <laughs> oh, you'll be all right, Andrew. You know what it's all about. So you'll be cool, calm and collected, I'm sure. Good luck. Yes, Thanks good a lot. Luck. So, Ugly Dave, yes. great to have you here. How have you been? Uh, terrific, terrific. Yes. I broke into the after-dinner speaking now. Oh, you know, lovely. On the, on the after-dinner speaking circuit. And, and th there's the number there. That, that's my a answer service. Oh, I see. That's yeah. the number to Is go it, for. Can I just... I got this letter from my brother today from England, and he's so funny. Do you mind if I just read no, it? No, OK. Go OK. Ahead. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Good Thanks. luck, Dave. No, no problem at all. Hope you have a good day. And of oh, course, it's funny. Everyone's playing for viewers at home. Uh, what are we in store for tonight? Goodness only knows. $20 starting money for all of our players. We're going to get straight into it. We'll see you in the gift shop. We will. Good luck, everyone. As we go for it again. And keeping in mind, there are viewers at home who are being represented by these players with us tonight. So good luck. Here we go. Question one. A recent number one album in Australia was Recurring Dream, The Very Best of Crowded Watts. Debbie. House. Yes. Patsy Stone and Adina Monsoon are the lead characters on which 90s British TV sitcom? 
Ugly Absolutely dog. fabulous. That's exactly right, yes. Here's an audio question, so listen carefully. In what year did this world first event take place? Um, uh, at the British... Philip. 1969. That's right. Don't you point at me like that. <laughs> 1969. That was the coverage of the mood landing by Neil Armstrong and also Buzz Aldrin. Well done, Philip. Beginning with C is what term for a television advertisement? Commercial. Debbie. Yes. A hit in 1966 for Tom Jones was the song Green Green Philip. Green Green Grass of Home. That's exactly right. As we go to the gift shop and Debbie and Philip both on $30. Yeah. Both with the lead of $5 over Dave, which means the first person in with their buzzer when Nikki says the low price can buy here. Well, when out on the streets fighting crime, television's greatest motorcycle cop fills up using his very own star card at his nearest Ampol or Caltex service station. Now, whether he needs fuel, new treads or even munchies, this boy in blue can splurge all he likes as this card is as good as money in his pocket. Normally it's $1,200. Tonight, for your viewer, just $6 from Ampol and Caltex and Sale of the Century. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Cronin in tonight. How are you, Paul? Nice to see you. Never know where I'll bob up. This brings back memories. Matlock, when was that? 20 years ago. 20 years ago? That's when you were in Matlock. And you yep. followed that up with? A solo one. That's right. And then I traded it all in for a 1940s father's It became suit. Dave, <laughs> as we remember it. Um, we've got to sell this, Paul, so very quickly. Debbie and Philip, it's like money in the pocket. It's the Ampol Caltex card. Every person needs it, and we'll sell it to you for just $6. Or not to you, to your viewer. $5, one question, $5. That's not bad. Going once, going twice, going three times. Oh! For $5, yes. <laughs> thank you very much, Philip Brady. And also, thank you very much, Paul Cronin, for joining us, too. Good to see you. Okay, so the scores now. Debbie's in the lead on $30 as we get back to the questions. Formed in 1980 to take part in the Eurovision Song Contest was British pop group Bucks Watts. Andrew. Bucks Fizz. That's exactly right. One in 81 with Making Your Mind Up is the song. First chance tonight to, to pick some money up off the fame game board. $10 has been placed behind one of those famous faces. Who am I? I began my TV career as a child and my self-mocking humour and common touch have made me one of the country's best loved personalities. As well as being a regular on Graham Kennedy's in Melbourne Tonight, I appeared in a number of drama series including Bell Bird and Homicide. A panellist on Beauty and the Beast and recently awarded a medal for entertaining troops in Vietnam, I was also the first woman to win two gold Logies. A long-time on-screen partner of Ernie Sigley, I am presently Philip. Denise Drysdale. I am Denise Drysdale, that's correct. Teaming out with Frankie J. Holden on IN Team, doing a fantastic job. <laughs> Ding dong, Denise Drysdale, that was the answer, Philip, which means you have the opportunity to pick from our famous faces, who tonight are... Like sand through the hourglass, the timeless McDonald Carey. The man most synonymous with days of our lives. Jane Seymour. Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. Brian Henderson. Host of Bandstand for 14 years, now with National Man News in Sydney. Lorne Green and Dan Blocker. As Ben Cartwright and also the lovable Hoss in Bonanza. Dylan Thorpe. From Hallow Cove in South Australia. Dylan's interests include playing Aussie rules and also his ambition is to play. Good on you, mate, for the Adelaide Crows. Jack Lord. Welcome, Dano. Played um, Steve McGarrett in Hawaii 5 0. Daryl Summers. Multi Logie winner, now celebrating 25 years with Hey Hey Saturday. Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashard. Kept us laughing through the 80s with The Cosby Show. And Gavin McLeod. The wise Captain Steubing in The Love Boats. So, uh, Philip, who would you like from those famous faces? Uh, Glenn, let's go for Gavin McLeod from The Love Boat. Good luck, Philip. Phil, your viewer can cook up a storm with this breakfast cookware and electrical appliances valued at $429 from Cambrook. Good prize, Philip. Your viewer will love that. It's close game. Debbie leading by just one question, and we'll be back shortly with round two. Hello, Dave. Hello. I got out of a sick bed to come in. Did you? My girlfriend got flu. Mm. <laughs> 40 years of television, and we've got some of the game and quiz show people with us tonight, and they're a great bunch too. Debbie, you're leading at the moment, doing oh, very goody. well on 30. Andrew and Philip both on 25. Oh, and Ugly Dave. The number's just gone across again. It has, I noticed yeah. that. And also, your score is 25 as well. Thank you very much. So let's go with the round. Round two. Written by Johnny Mandel, I was the theme song to TV's MASH called Suicide, Philip. Is painless. Exactly. With what kind of animal do we associate the phrase, Hello, I'm Mr. X. Andrew. A horse. That's correct. Wilbur and Carol Post. And what was one of his girlfriends? Conchita, I think. Okay, fame game. $15 being placed behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? Born in 1937, I was always interested in music and was a winner on the TV show Name That Tune. A tall, happy-go-lucky guy, I, Philip, 
Jimmy Hannon. I am Jimmy Hannon, one of your mates. Yes, spending spree, celebrity squares, just to name a few. Well done, Philip. Who would you like from our famous faces? Uh, let's go for my friend Brian Henderson. Hendo uh, from yeah. National News, Sydney. And there's $10. Hello. Hello. He must be a good friend of yours, Philip. You're That's up to $40. Thanks, Debbie Brian. and Andrew on 30, Ugly Dave on 25 as we continue. <laughs> Featuring on the children's TV show hosted by, hosted by Shari Lewis were several glove puppets, including Andrew. I'm going to say Lamb Chop. Well, that's not bad. Lamb, who was the question? Lamb Chop, the answer we needed. Yeah, that was good. A new country magistrate was the central character in the new, uh, sorry, in the Nine Network series, Law of the Wants. Debbie. Land. That's right, too. As we go to Fast Money, Philip in the lead on 40, 30 seconds up on the clock, and your time starts. Now, a robot was one of the stars in Lost in Wants. Debbie. Space. Yes, a presenter on the Nine Network's Getaway is Lockie Who. Debbie. Uh, no. Nah, Dado, what is the first name of Bart Simpson's mother? Debbie. Marge. Yes, uh, in Gilligan's Island, for how many hours was the cruise meant to last? Three. An early host of This Is Your Life was Roger Who. Philip. Simpson. Yes, uh, what is the name of the little helicopter created by the Duchess of York? Budgie is the answer we needed there, and Philip, you're in the lead still. You're on 45, it's a close game though. Philip on 45, Debbie on 40, Andrew on 35, and Ugly Dave on 25. But Philip, because you're in the lead, you can buy here with Nikki. So listen carefully, Phil. Your viewers' cookies will never crumble with this fine quality silver-plated Victorian biscuit server. With its delicate embossed and decorated double shell, this exquisite sachet is normally $2,350. Tonight it will bring some silver service to your viewer for just $10 from White Hill Silver and Sale of the Century. This is beautiful. Hold on, you've really knocked that over there. Oh, did you? <laughs> Be very careful. Um, Philip, you can buy for your viewer at home. Ten dollars, two questions. Ten dollars, oh, going once. Uh, you're coming down a bit lower. There's uh, Vicky's inside. What about ten dollars, Philip? What about ten dollars if we throw in the life story of Bruce and Phil as well? <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it, Glenn. Okay. I'll buy it. Ten dollars with well the book. The, push your buzzer so we can take that. Well done, your viewer. Yeah. We'll be racking that. Because, Philip, there is also a sale surprise, and they've also picked up a 10 CD pack from EMI Virgin featuring John Paul Young's latest release now, and that's valued at $320, as well as the book, too, Philip. Yeah. So, what a bonus! Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Okay, now the viewer's question for tonight How much was Larry Hagman said to be paid per episode in the TV series of Dallas? How much was it? We'll tell you after this break. Our hostess tonight looks so stunning, I want to get her out here and introduce her. The lovely Debbie Newsom. Viewers question before the break tonight, how much was Larry Hagman said to be paid per episode of the TV series Dallas? He was paid $100,000 per episode. And when you think about how long that show went, that's an awful lot of money. Now, Philip and Debbie, your viewers' names are on the screen at the moment. They'd be pretty pleased because, Deb, you're leading on 40, and Philip, you're certainly in touch on 35 as we go to the cash card round. To make a telephone call for which the receiver pays is... Philip. Reverse charge call. Or call collect. Oh, sure, we've got all of those here. That's exactly right. Philip, is to reverse what was the question? Combining a game show format with a murder mystery was which Crawford production hosted by Ian Mc... Andrew. Cluedo. That's exactly right, too, by Ian McFadgen. Cash card, and we have a three-way tie here. Philip, Debbie and Andrew, you're all on $40. One of you will have the opportunity to play for $5,000 for your viewer. We'll auction it down. But firstly, let's have a look at the great prize, which is on one of the machines. Well, guys, get your hands on these golf clubs, the exact same ones used by the shark himself. This package includes a set of oversized clubs made from gold steel, just like our star here, and accompanied by a golf bag, buggy, head cover, glove, and other golfing accessories to really get your viewer playing like Superman. Now they're valued at $2,785 from Cobra Golf Australia and Sale of the Century. So Philip, Debbie and Andrew, you had the opportunity to play here. Now we'll start at $15. I'll auction it down. So if you want to play for your viewer at home, you can pay $14 if you like, or maybe $13, $12, $11. Keeping in mind there's $15 on one of the machines as well. $10, just two. Debbie's playing for $10. So we're taking $10 off your score there. Hearts, clubs, diamonds or spades? Debbie, which machine would you like Nikki to play for you? Well, my daughter Tara, oh hello Troy by the way as well, uh, my son Troy, um, said clubs. So. Clubs. But okay. she picks hearts every night at home, but she wants clubs, so. <laughs> We're going for clubs. Clubs right, is the machine. Alright, let's cross our fingers and have a look. See how we go for the viewer at home. What have you picked up? Oh, the take five card, which means huh? you can take five dollars off Philip who's on 40 or Andrew who's on 40. This will be an interesting one. Or Ugly Dave who's on 25. 
Who would uh, you like to take it off? Oh, gee. Any, many, money, money. Just while oh, you're thinking about it, Debbie. Where was, no, was the money, any, though? Money, money, money. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the money okay. was with her. <laughs> oh, that's, that's where the $5,000 was. Now, who are you going to take the $5 off, Deb? Well, I just... Did any, mini money, money. I did eat any... Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Me and I forgive her already. So five dollars off you, mm, Philip, as we go back to thirty-five. Sorry, Philip. Phew, glad we got right. through that. <laughs> Andrew, you're in the lead on forty as we continue. The story of which Australian singer was told in the miniseries Shouts? Andrew, Johnny O'Keefe. Yes, should have taken off him. Ah, uh, thanks a lot, Glenn. <laughs> Beginning with N, are which leading TV audience ratings figures in the US? Philip. Wilson. Perhaps you will I take it off him, Debbie. So here we go, $25 in the wild card, the last chance tonight from the Fame Game Board, Who Am I? Born in 1900 and dying in 1984, I first toured Australia in 1937 on the Tivoli circuit, where I sang and played the banjo. A ugly day. George Formby. No. <laughs> Eventually settling here, in 1941 I started working on radio, becoming one of the... Philip. Bob Dyer. I am Bob Dyer, yes, uh, from BP Pickerbox fame and also of course radio fame for many years before that so philip you're trailing by five dollars fifteen dollars twenty five dollars and the wild card is on the board so who would you like should philip? i should i risk it glenn that's a question isn't it i met him once so he might bring me good luck <laughs> even though he's now dead <laughs> mcdonald carey from days of our lives <laughs> here we go oh well he's half lucky I'll give you $1,000 cash if you like, but keeping in mind you can have a choice again from our famous faces to pick up maybe the $25 or the $15. Does that go on to my score, the $1,000? It does. No, 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 the $1,000 goes to your viewer. Oh. Nice try. <laughs> well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Uh, Daryl Summers. From Hey Hey, let's see how we go. Sorry, Philip, no money, but this Nike athletic wear will have your viewer sporting the latest fitness gear. Your selection of clothing or footwear valued at $900 from Nike. A nice prize, Philip. Where was the money, Nikki? Well, Jack Lord had the $15 and Jane Seymour had the $25. So that's where the money was. And at home on your Ampol Caltex cards, if you had the Wednesday and also the Hearts, you could be in the running for $10,000. We'll be back shortly with the deciding round, the Mad Minute, after this break. get into it though uh, our viewers for ugly david also andrew uh, their names are on the screen at the moment so good luck you're looking pretty good there andrew and also if you'd like to be of course a viewer for tomorrow night's show the phone number is 0055 60489 and those no that number will be open until nine o'clock tomorrow morning all right good luck everyone andrew 45 philip 40 debbie 30 and ugly dave on 25 60 seconds up on the clock and for the game your time starts now name either of the two ronnies Ugly Dave. Corbett. Yes, uh, an Aussie rock and roll band was old 50 watts. Philip. Five. Yes, the star five. of Baywatch is David Who. Debbie. Hasselhoff. Yes, an American soapy is Melrose Watts. Debbie. Place. Yes, uh, which Australian TV performer is nicknamed The King? Philip. Graham Kennedy. Yes, sexual play is called Hanky Watts. Debbie. Panky. Yes, uh, proverbially there's no such thing as a what lunch? Debbie. Cut lunch. Free lunch. Uh, who is the actress sister of Paula Duncan? Philip. Uh, Carmen is her name. Yes, yeah, so Chef Jeff Jantz presents What's What? Philip. What's cooking? Yes, yeah, so Graham Blundell starred as Alvin Who. Philip. Purple. Yes, yeah, so an American soapy is The Bold and The Watts. Debbie. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so Bert Newton is the host of Good Morning uh, Philip. Australia. Yes, yeah, so which nine network program is presented by Paul Clitheroe? Andrew. Yes, yeah, so set in which American state is Northern Exposure? Philip. Alaska. Yes, yeah, so a British sitcom is One Foot in the Watts. Ugly day. Great. Yes, what is the first name? And Philip, you've won on $75, so congratulations. We have people cutting lunches and everything happening there. But Philip, congratulations, you've won the game on 75. Good on you, Philip. That was very well done. Thanks. Now, Debbie, I'm sorry you didn't pick up any prizes for uh, your I tried. tonight. I know you Explain did. Blame my daughter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but thanks for joining us. No, so hey, you I had a great time, thank you. That's great. Yeah. And Andrew, I'm sorry as well, no extra prizes for your viewer at home, but thanks for joining us. Nice to have you with us, Mr Harwood. I certainly Good to hope be you here. enjoyed yourself. <laughs> yeah, and as for yourself, Ugly Dave, no prizes for your viewer at home. And I had a letter from a well-wisher. So, yeah, dear Dave, I, I wish you was down a well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good to have you with us, Ugly Dave. And also to all the lucky viewers who selected for tonight's show, they've picked up this great prize. Your viewers can capture all of the highlights of their life with this Vectors 20 compact zoom camera. 
With a sleek capsule design, it comes equipped with date and time imprint features, three picture format selections, built-in flash and easy drop-in loading, giving you more creative options. It comes courtesy of Minolta. So congratulations to all those viewers. And Debbie, Andrew and Ugly Dave, your viewers have also picked up this great prize. Our losing viewers can continue to be entirely entertained with this collection of classic television videos. Reminisce with Miss Penelope from the Thunderbirds or laugh your head off with Man About the House. In total, 12 memorable television series from Polygram Video. That's a great prize. And of course, these series wouldn't be the same without the celebrities who join us. So to Philip, Debbie, Andrew and Ugly Dave, thank you very much for being a part of it. And we've got these gifts for you. Our television legends will never again be pressed for time with this Swiss-made classic blue-dialed stainless steel and 18-carat gold watch. Featuring Roman numerals and distinctive bracelet-style band, it's from Longines. And they'll each receive the latest sale of the century board game from Crown and Andrews, plus our 18-carat gold-plated pin from Germani Jewelry. Congratulations, Philip. Hey, well thanks, played. Please. I enjoyed it very much. Well played. You and Peter Smith in the final. Yeah. Oh. Now nah, it'll be good fun. Hey, let's go. Sure, let's go shopping. Come on through here. Okay. Now we've got some wonderful prizes at the end of the series, Philip. Uh, but of course, by you winning tonight, you've picked up for your viewer at home this fabulous prize as well. Look how far television has come in 40 years. This 71 centimeter stereo remote control color television has all the latest features. With teletext, hi-fi stereo reception, 40 channel programmable memory, and on-screen display, your viewer will never miss their favorite stars. It's from TIAC. And it's a great TV from TIAC, of course. That's what you've picked up for your the viewers. The TIAC, yeah. It certainly is. Now, of course, the major prize on Monday night is going to be a two-part prize consisting, firstly, of this fabulous trip to Hollywood. Yes, Los Angeles, the place to see and be seen in America, the home to glitzy Hollywood, Venice Beach and star-studded Beverly Hills. This seven-day trip for two will have you in a frenzy as you experience some real-life action when you visit the world-famous Universal Studios. With accommodation in Santa Monica, airfares and transfers, it's from Qantas Holidays and Harvey World Travel, the travel professionals. It's a wonderful Good on prize. Your bill. It's only a two-part prize, that's one of it. The other part is the fabulous Audi A4. Over the years, automobile technology has advanced so rapidly that today we are presented with the pinnacle of driving indulgence and motoring luxury, the Audi A4. Featuring a sumptuous leather interior, eight-spoke alloy wheels, CD stacker and power windows, it's driven by a powerful two-litre engine combined with a state-of-the-art automatic transmission. You'll feel like an absolute star in the Audi A4. Valued at $50,980 plus on-road costs. Audi. Now there's a new German A-Class. Fantastic car, the Audi A4, giving that away to one lucky viewer on Monday night. Now, in total tonight, Philip, $6,677 worth of prizes. That's what you've picked up for your viewer at home. They're absolutely unwrapped, I'm sure. And Wes, so am I. I'm happy to, Glenn. You've done very well. And uh, we must thank Debbie. Thank you very much. Well, and also Andrew and Ugly Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for being with us. Yeah. Thank you at home for being with us. Tomorrow night, we have four other wonderful people joining us. Who are they, Nick? We do. We have Terry Donovan tomorrow night, Joanna Lockwood. We have Lucky Grills and Bud Tingwell. A lot of excitement tomorrow night. So make sure you phone the lucky number, 0055 604 89. Yep. And who knows? You could be in amongst the prizes. So, till tomorrow night, take care. Bye bye. Bye. This is a Grundy Pit Entertainers. For four decades, the people, programs, and personalities have kept Australian viewers glued to their screens. Tonight, it's the first night final as we celebrate 40 years of television on the world's richest quiz, Sale of the Century. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Rich. Thank you very much, Peter Smith. So, hello, everyone. Hello, hey. Welcome to Sale. Nice to have you with us on the first night of our final series of 40 years of television. And we've had a fantastic time over the last four nights. We've had some wonderful people joining us. And tonight is the first of our two-part series, which means uh, as the players finish tonight, they will be starting on those very same scores on Monday. And come Monday night, a lucky viewer will win for themselves the fabulous trip to Hollywood and also a wonderful Audi A4. But let's get into it, though. We have our four finalists over here. And to tell us who they are, please welcome Nikki Buckley. Oh. You all right there? Uh, yes, I put my heel in my skirt and I was going to go AOT, but I didn't. Oh, what's that mean again? I don't know. 
Oh, I've heard All it. All over. Yes, <laughs> accidentally over. Yeah. Um, hey, hasn't it been a lot of fun the last four nights? I've loved it, I really have. And it's, great people. It certainly has been. Now it's the final, uh, and of course all of our players will be playing for viewers at home. And uh, we've got one of our special favourite people in the final, haven't we? We have indeed. Yes. So who's playing tonight, Nick? Let's <laughs> all get right. into it. Well, our first finalist pipped Mike Willisey at the post after a close game went to a tiebreaker. Still in the news, please welcome back Sue Smith. Hi, Sue. Thank you. Thanks, Sue. And after a late charge in his heat, this game show representative catapulted himself into the final. Still smiling, it's Philip Brady. Good to see you, Philip. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. Our next finalist sure made her heat home viewer happy, picking up the $5,000 cash card. Let's see if she can do it again. Back to try her luck is Joanna Lockwood. Good to see you. Thank you. And anyone would think this finalist had some inside help, totally blitzing the opposition with a score over 100. Back again, it's Pete Smith. And nice to see you Thank there, you, Pete. You Apart from the fact that we brought Gary Coleman over especially, but anyhow, we've forgotten about all that. It's nice to see you. No, don't even think of talking. Hello, Sue. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. Nice to see you back again. Of course, you were up against some stiff opposition there in the first in of the, the series. In the current affairs field, yes, yeah. but perhaps they don't do trivia. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't know. You're very confident. You were telling us before that show you were very nervous. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm still nervous. I always go into every form of competition convinced I'm going to fail. Oh, but get you it. didn't. You came through very well. So good luck tonight, Sue. You'll Thank be you. right. Yes, good luck. Now, Philip, the other night you were rattling off all those shows that you've been a part of. Did you leave anything yes, out? Yes, there was the Don Lane show and uh -huh. the Ernie Sickley show and in Melbourne today and in Melbourne tonight. Hey, good and luck today, Peter Phil. Anyhow, show. it's nice to have and you back with us again. And your favourites mine. And then I went to the well. Tweed Coast. You played very well the other night. Save it for Monday if I'll you will. I'll save it, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, good luck, Philip, and nice to have you Thanks, with us buddy. again. Uh, Joanna played very well last night, and it's good to see you back again tonight. Thank you. What are you doing at the moment? I forgot to ask you last night. Uh, look, uh, I'm the wrong age for television lately. That's somewhere between 20 and Ruth Cracknell. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm fundraising for the Sunshine Home, which is a home for adults and children with intellectual disabilities in, uh, in Sydney, and I just love it. It. Fantastic. A great cause too. Hey, good luck tonight, Joanna. Thank you very much. Yes. Now, Pete, you are my idol. Not only did you win the other night, but you also did all the voiceovers as well. Are you going to do that again tonight? Uh, no, not. There was a big upset last Tuesday night, let's face it, and I'm uh, a bit ashamed of myself. Unfortunately, I beat the hot favourite. But do you know who I've chosen to do the announcing tonight? Who's oh, that? My special announcer will be none other than Gary Coleman. Oh! Hey, hey. It. Good to see you with us, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. I earned this. He beat me badly. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to have a lot of fun. So, Gary is going to join us there. Pete's obviously going to be playing very, very seriously here. $20 starting money for all of our players. Let's get into it. We'll see you in the gift, in shop. The gift luck, shop. everyone. Have some fun. And we're going to go for it. So, let's find out what's going to happen, keeping in mind that all of our players are playing for viewers at home. So, good luck all. Question one. Lorne Green starred as Commander... A Pete. Bonanza? No. Starred as Commander Adama in the early 80s US sci-fi series Battlestar Watts Galactica. Oh, yes. Subtitled to Primetime Life is the recently published autobiography of American TV mogul Aaron Hu. Pete. Copeland. Come on, son. Yeah, you can if you like. No, spelling. That's Aaron right, spelling. Sue, but unfortunately you don't get any money for it, which is a bit of a pity. Aaron's spelling was what we needed. Here's a visual question, so take a look at your monitor. This is a stool from which feature-length Disney Pete? The Lion King. That's right, and he's turned around and heading in the right direction. Based on the 1942 film I Married a Witch, uh, was which US sitcom starring Elizabeth Mont's Joanna? Bewitched. That's right, Elizabeth Montgomery. Flegel, Bingo, Drooper and Snorky made up Hanna-Barbera's animal pop group called the Banana Watts. Pete. Benders? No, the Banana Splits. <laughs> so gift shop time and Joanna, you're in the lead. You're on $25. I can't be in the lead. <laughs> you've done got, nothing. You've got one right and that's all that matters. You're on $25. You're five ahead of Philip and Sue and you're 15 ahead of Pete at the moment. So you can buy here for your viewer. Well, I'm sure you've heard of Hopalong Cassidy and Pocahontas. Well, here's Tangles and Louie. Oh, I tell you what, Nicky, you can't beat bad luck, can you? Stuck up a river with no water in it with Lou Richards. Lee, cheap little big mouth. Him, 
cute big fat man. You <laughs> <laughs> speak for yourself, boy. <laughs> well, with this Australis Bush Ranger canoe, your viewer can take to the waters in a sporting fashion, just like Lou and Max. Well, Together with here. two single paddles, it's normally $1,020. Tonight, just $6 from Canoe World and Sail of the Century. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. Freak, isn't it? Uh, I'll sit on the rocks. What a ride. What I'm a just ride. a bit confused. Yeah. You're going that way. Well, that's why we don't get anywhere. That way. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening here? We're in a whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to paddle the other way, you big lob. <laughs> I've been doing all my life with you, Luke. And you'll never guess. I Max knew I Walker. shouldn't have touched that tomahawk. <laughs> 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 Max Walker just happened to join us and have with us his recent book, oh. book number 10, which is number five on the top 10 selling books around. Hey, well done, Max. Look. That's you and your dad put that together. Chip off the old block, yes. Uh, big Max, little Max, father, son. I mean, yeah, some bad stories in that one. Lou, you're not in this one. No, you can write a story in this uh, episode. Here, <laughs> <laughs> well. I think you haven't written it. Joanna, <laughs> we'll even throw in the book, uh, and you can buy the canoe, forget about the clowns, the canoe, for $5. $5. <laughs> Going once. It's very convincing, but no thank you. You have me too, darling. <laughs> throw me in too, Lou. That's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty good. But hey, come on, guys, we want to sell it. Now, there's big fish at stake on this one. I'll, uh, I'll let it pass. Going once, going twice, going three times, and no sale, no oh. sale. Uh, gentlemen, I hope you sort out your differences. Um, Louis, we've got a long way to go, us. son. You just keep paddling. Down the Colorado River, <laughs> baby. <laughs> OK, Here Joanna, you're in the lead on 25 as we get back to the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Starring Rex Harrison and Gene Tierney, uh, Philip. Laura. No, it's the 1947 film The Ghost and Mrs. Who, Mrs. Muir. Uh -huh. Any two persons or things uh, normally, sorry, nominally different but practically the same are said to be Tweedledum and Joanna. Tweedledee. That's right. First chance tonight to pick some money up off the board. $10 has been placed behind one of our famous faces. What is my name? I'm a 1965 film adapted from an earlier hit Broadway musical that ran for over 1,400 performances. Produced and directed by Robert Wise, I won Oscars for Best... Pete. Sound of Music. Sound of Music is right. Julie Andrews, Climb Every Mountain, Do Ray Me, The Sound of Music. The answer we needed, Pete. Well done. Now, $10 has been placed behind one of our famous faces, and tonight those faces are... Channel 9's favourite son, Graham Kennedy. Has the honour of the title, The King of Television. Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. From one of the all-time great sitcoms, I Love Lucy. Dean Kane. Clark Kent, alias Superman from Lois and Clark. Dobbin Delaney. Nurse Jojo and the Young Doctors, and also former sale hostess. Adrian Jerko. Adrian comes from uh, Moray Field in Queensland, and Adrian is a Cub Scout, and he loves to watch Australia's funniest home video show with Joe Beth. And the state's happy with the agent. Joan Collins, Linda Evans, and John Forsyth. The three big power brokers from the glitzy, soapy dynasty. Ed Devereaux. Head Ranger Matt from Skippy. Farrah Fawcett. One of the most attractive undercover cops in television history from Charlie's Angels. And Gerard Kennedy. Starred in Hunter and also Division 4. So, Peter, which of those famous faces would you like? Well, they built this marvellous Studio 9 complex for one personality up there, the one and only Graham Kennedy. OK, Pete, good luck. Here's Graham. Pete, your viewer's car will look professionally detailed once you've finished cleaning it with these 87 car care products. Valued at $656 from Valvoline. Thank you very much, Gary Coleman there. And uh, also, we should mention a very big thank you to TV Week. Also, have helped us out with all of the fame game photos throughout the series. Thank you very much, TV Week. Now, at the moment, Joanna, you're leading on $30. That's round one, and we'll be back shortly with round two. <laughs> This is the first night of our two-part series. At the moment, Joanna, you're leading on 30, Sue on 20, Philip on 15 and Pete on 10 as we get into the round. Master of Ceremonies at the opening of the Atlanta Paralympics was which quadriplegic actor? Joanna. Christopher Reeve. That's right. Which band played its last live concert at Candlestick Park, San Francisco on August 29, 1966? Philip. The Beatles. That's right, too. As we go to the fame game, $15 has been placed behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? Born in 1934, I studied ballet at an early age and at 15 appeared on the cover of Elle magazine. In 1952, the year I married director Roger Vadim, I made my screen debut in Crazy for Love. Sue. Fonda. No. Crazy for Love and over the next four years made Philip. And Margaret. No. 
made another 16 movies. In 1956, I shot to international stardom with And God Created Woman, Joanna. Bridget Bardot. I am Bridget Bardot, yes. Now very active on the animal rights movements. <laughs> the answer we needed, Joanna. So who would you like from our famous faces? Oh, um, uh, 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 look, I'll take uh, uh, the home viewer, please. Home viewer, mm. Adrian Jerko from Queensland. Joanna, your viewer can get that hair salon treatment at home with this professional hair care package for all types of hair. Valued at $408 from Sienna Professional Hair Care. Thank you very much, Gary Coleman. Joanna, that's what you've picked up for your viewer. You're in the lead on $35 as we put 30 seconds up on the clock for fast money and your time starts now. Who played TV's Kojak? P Pete. Telly Savalas. Stop the clock. I'll just check. Got to check it, Pete. Uh, Everything. Okay, just in the nick of time, Peter. Mm. Uh, we'll restart the clock. We have 24 seconds remaining, and we'll restart it now. I Can't Stop Loving You was a hit for blind singer Philip. Ray Charles. Yes, a hit movie is Close Encounters of the Watts. Philip. Third kind. Yes, the children's film Milo and Otis features a dog and a what? Joanna. Cat. Yes, uh, an early American sitcom was The Many Lives of Do Pete. Dobie Gillis. Yes, uh, on TV, Adam West portrayed which superhero? Philip. Batman. Yes, a co-star of the Dick Van Dyke show was Mary Pete. Mary Tyler Moore. Yes, in, and that's the past money. Uh, Joanne, you're leading. You're on $40. You are $5 ahead of Phil, but Joanna, you can buy here for your viewer. Hello, this is Bluey Hills. Oh, that's you, Gary. Okay, I'll see you down the pub in about 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, well, when you need important information and quickly, nothing comes close to this. Just about anyone, including your viewer, can get to the bare facts with this 500p plain paper laser fax. Now it features on-screen programming, a super quick scan, sequential broadcasting and a message centre. Normally it's $1,999, tonight just $9 from Brother and Sale of the Century. And please welcome Lucky Grimms. Good to have you with us. Lucky recreating uh, um, Bluey. And have a look at this. This is I an know. old Women's Weekly. Isn't that amazing? From 1967. Have a look there. Unreal. Now, uh, Joanna, forget about the Women's Weekly. We're going to sell this to you if you want it for your viewer. And all we want is $9. $9. It's great Could you price. tell me the scores, please, Glenn? Uh, at the moment, you're on 40 and Phillip's on 35. We have a long way to go. $9 and $200 cash. Going once, mm, uh, I'll bring it down mm, to $8. Uh, going twice, mm, no. Thank $7. you. $7. Going three times, it's the last yes, I've right. got to go. $7. Hey? $7. You'll buy it for that? Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Your viewer at home has picked that up. You're now trailing by $2, Joanna. And uh, to also, thanks very much for joining us, Lucky. My pleasure. We'll see you down the pub. Sure. <laughs> Viewer's question. Uh, in Star Trek, what was Leonard Nimoy's most prominent feature? We'll tell you after this break. The Empress Papier's mouth is like these grapes. Oh, you mean luscious and ripe? No, sticky and squashy. <laughs> But of course, you don't want to play. If you don't want to play, you don't have to play. Prepared to come down a bit for an old friend, Glenn? Well, Phil, I would love to, but they won't let me do that. Basically, if you want to play, it's going to cost you fifteen dollars. Yeah, there's a lot at stake, and for my home viewer, I will play. You're going to play? Push your buzzer, and then we'll uh, change the scores. Well done. Five thousand. Let's. Joanna did very well on it last night for her viewer. Hearts, clubs, diamonds, or spades? Which machine, Philip? I think I'll stick close to Nikki and go for a spade. Thanks, You'd like Philip. to go for the spades? Okay, we'll cross luck, our Philip. fingers and see Your how we go. Viewer, you've picked up... Oh, the $15 going back to your score. Back okay. to $35. Back, back where we to were. The lead. Where was um, the money, though, Nick? It was with hearts tonight. Hearts. Yep. Uh, so hearts being uh, the, uh, the $5,000. Oh. And, of course, at home, if you happen to have hearts on your Caltex and Ampol cash card, tonight is your last opportunity for hearts and Friday, and you could be in the running for $10,000. And thank you very much to Ampol Caltex, too, for the promotion. It's been a great time. OK, let's go back to the questions. Tom Hanks was one of the stars of the early 80s sitcom Bosom Wants. Pete. Buddies. Yes. Which luxurious hotel was opened in Melbourne in August 1962? Joanna. Southern Cross? That's right. The Beatles stayed there. And the last chance tonight to pick some money up off the board, $25 and the wild card being added, who am I? Of Italian descent, I was born in the United States around 1916, spent 10 years in the Navy, and after World War II studied acting. A stout, swarthy actor with gap teeth, I made a number of stage and TV appearances before making a rather late screen debut in my mid-30s. Portraying a sadistic sergeant in From Here to Eternity, Joanna. Ernest Borgnine. That's right, uh, Ernest Borgnine from McHale's Navy, the single guy. 
and uh, also the doorman in the single guy. All right, Joanna, now the last chance to pick some money up off the boards. Who would you like? Oh, uh, Desi and Lucy, please. From I Love Lucy. Good luck. And there's $25. Yes. <laughs> Taking you up to $63. Where was the rest of the money, though, Nikki? Well, the wild card was with Farrah Fawcett. Delvin Delaney had the $10, and Gerard Kennedy had the $15. That's where the money was, and at the moment, Joanne are doing very well, leading on $63. We have for tonight, and keeping in mind tonight is only the first of our two part series for the finals here. All that is remaining is the Mad Minute. We'll be back shortly with that. We recently sent an RACV insurance assessor to an address in Bayswater. Apparently, a car had been rolled, which isn't unusual, although the assessor can't recall anyone else ever doing it in their backyard. Sometimes it's not easy to explain things on paper, so at RACV Insurance, we're all ears, not all paperwork. In fact, you won't need to fill out a claim form at all, because at RACV Insurance, we treat you as a member, not a number. In my life, I've seen changes from laughter and tears. In my life, there's been no way to hold back the years. The wonder of being, the wonder of loving and love. When it's time to move out, move in or move up, always turn to Saturday's real estate. In your classifieds, Herald Sun classifieds. New Nestle Fromage Frey with fruit on the bottom. The thick, creamy, smooth dairy snack on fruit. It's sure to have you playing with old friends again. New Nestle Fromage Frey, a fresh taste for life. Ansett Australia have great deal holidays all around Australia. And at prices to suit everyone's budget. Call your travel agent or Ansett Australia. Future navigators of Spaceship Earth need any time, any place access to the collective knowledge of the human race. With its Intel Pentium processor, Toshiba is expanding your horizons. And now, your Estee Lauder gift is at Maya. With mascara, enlightened makeup, and two full-size lipsticks, valued at over $100, it's yours with any Estee Lauder purchase of $38 or more. Now at Maya. Coming up, we'll be giving away two fabulous vehicles when Burke's Backyard goes live next on 9. Then a special event, 40 years of TV stars. Time for the Mad Minute. Before we get into it, though, Joanna, you're in the lead on 63. Philip on 35. Pete, you're also on 35, too. Yeah, well, I, I think they're all tightening up a bit. They're taking it far too seriously. Take it from me, from a 16-year-old veteran of even just the announcing and watching contestants, you've got to lighten up and make a bit of fun of it while I concentrate on the job at hand. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're on 25. So let's get into it. 60 seconds up on the clock and your time starts. Now, an American police series is NYPD. Pete. Blue. Yes, so who was the female star of I Dream of Jeannie? Sue. I dream of Jeannie. She was that little cute blondie one. Barbara Eden. Yes. <laughs> Having failed in business, one is said to put up the watch. Sue. Bridges. Shutters. Uh, the creator of the Star Wars movies was George who? Pete. Lucas. Yes. Uh, which Western TV series was set on the Ponderosa Ranch? Pete. Bonanza. Yes. Uh, the musical Guys and Dolls features Philip. Oh, I don't know if you want a song or a star. Uh, features uh, If I Were a Bell. Nathan Detroit. Oh. Set aboard a cruise ship with the uh, series I Love Watts. Oh, sorry, The Love. So Oh, it? The Love Boat? That's right. Uh, Robert Vaughan starred in the spy series, The Man From Pete. Uncle. Yes, a uh, 70s American police series was The Mod Wants. Pete. Squad. Yes, uh, which Broadway and film musical was based on the play Pygmalion? Pete. My Fair Lady. Yes, a cartoon series about an ape was Magilla Wants. Uh, Joanne. Magilla Gorilla. Yes, a TV super salesman is Tim Who. Pete. I don't know, I can't think. Tim Shaw was the answer we needed. So, Joanna, you're leading at the end of our two-night final. We're halfway there, the end of our first night in the two-night final. So, congratulations, Joanna. Everyone's in there giving it a go, which is they good are, to see. Um, just, uh, Philip, quickly, the musical Guys and Goals featured the character Nathan Who, Nathan Detroit. That's exactly. where that came into it. Now, at home, if you'd like to be a viewer and play with one of our four celebrities up here, here are the numbers which you have to ring, keeping in mind that all these numbers are open all weekend through until 9 o'clock on Monday morning. 
For Sue Smith, phone 0055-60186. For Pete Smith, phone 0055-60187. For Philip Brady, phone 0055-60188. And for Joanna Lockwood, phone 0055-60189. Thank you very much, Gary Carmen. There, well done, Joanna. Thank you. Continuing on your fine form from last night. Now, you haven't won. You're no, halfway I know, there. I know, we're halfway there though. You are leading at the halfway mark too. So let's go shopping and have a look at some great prices. Come through here because on Monday night we're giving it away. It's going to be fantastic. Now, the major prize at the end of this whole series, and uh, if you're a viewer, as I say, you have until 9 o'clock on Monday morning to phone through and be a part of it. The two-part prize consists of, firstly, this fantastic Hollywood holiday. Los Angeles, the place to see and be seen in America. The home to glitzy Hollywood, Venice Beach and star-studded Beverly Hills. This seven-day trip for two will have you in a frenzy as you experience some real-life action when you visit the world-famous Universal Studios. With accommodation in Santa Monica, airfares and transfers, it's from Qantas Holidays and Harvey World Travel, the travel professional. It's a wonderful holiday, that's for sure. And, of course, the other part of this prize is the fabulous Audi A4. Over the years, automobile technology has advanced so rapidly that today we are presented with the pinnacle of driving indulgence and motoring luxury, the Audi A4, featuring a sumptuous leather interior, eight-spoke alloy wheels, CD stacker, and power windows. It's driven by a powerful two-liter engine combined with the state-of-the-art state automatic transmission. You'll feel like an absolute star in the Audi A4, valued at $50,980 plus on-road cost. Audi, now there's a new German A-Class. Certainly is, Gary. That's the Audi A4, and we're giving that away on Monday night. And, of course, you're coming back on Monday night as we continue with this final series. Sue, look forward to seeing you on Monday night as well. Yeah. Philip, and also Peter, look forward to seeing all of you. And also, Gary. someone else Gary. is going to be joining us. Yeah. Yeah. Gary Carlin as well. <laughs> Fantastic, <laughs> Gary. And we hope you'll join us as well. And, incidentally, those phone numbers are open all the way through the weekend yes. too. So, until Monday night, take care, won't you? Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. See you Monday. See